Criminal gangs impose their rule in the territories they dominate, creating microstates. El Estado Bolívar está, de alguna forma, destinado a ser un parestado. In Bolívar, gold is the largest contraband after fuel. Vacuna, extorsión, secuestro, poder. O sea, pérdida total del territorio. Eh, aquí el dominio lo tienen los irregulares. Ahí hay una mezcla tremenda de, 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 de complicidades desde el mismo momento en que se otorgan las licencias, se otorgan eh, la constitución de, de las compañías. Surrounding populations have been most hardly hit. Criminals occupy territories, recruit their young boys for their gangs and young girls as prostitutes. Cattle rustling and live invasions have driven livestock producers away from the area. There are records of clandestine landing strips for smuggling, and many indigenous people reportedly work as mules for cocaine trafficking. There is an alleged link between criminals and regional and national officials. In Sucre, there are ghost towns taken over by criminal gangs. Criminals voluntarily or forcibly recruit many of the residents. Two of its municipalities are among the most violent in the country. The most emblematic case is San Juan de las Galdonas, which has reportedly been controlled by criminal gangs for 15 years. Bueno, de las megabandas criminales, el, el, la que tiene mayor poder de fuego es el Tren de Aragua. Tren de Aragua controls illegal businesses from inside and outside the Tocoron prison. Y allí los jefes de este pranato, los jefes de estas pandillas, gozan de distintos privilegios, como por ejemplo una discoteca, que tiene el nombre de Tokio, tienen dentro piscina, gallera, estadio de béisbol, hasta un zoológico hay allí. Boats sail from Delta a Macuro, loaded with people who are sold in Trinidad and Tobago. In Zulia, drug trafficking is one of the most common crimes, as the state is the main gateway for the entry and exit of precursors, raw materials and processed drugs. On the road to La Guajira, the illegal sale of fuel is common and made out in the open. There are also reports of clandestine landing strips. In Barinas, there are gangs of cattle rustlers who target livestock producers. Land invasion and cattle theft are constant. The Bolivarian Liberation Forces, or Boliches, reportedly engage in extortion of farmers, kidnapping and other crimes, and are also allegedly acting alongside violent groups to intimidate the population. Numerous criminal groups operate in Táchira, such as the ELN, the FARC, Rastrojos, Urabeños, La Línea, Botacauchos, the Black Eagles, the EPL or Pelusos, and more recently, Violent Colectivos. In Falcón, around 10 criminal gangs are allegedly acting in complicity with the military. There are reports of gold trafficking coming from the state of Bolívar and leaving from clandestine landing strips. And Nueva Esparta is reportedly the largest hub of Hezbollah operations in Latin America. The Director of Security and Public Order of the State Government has identified more than 60 operational criminal gangs. In organized crime groups, women play logistical roles. En el caso de trata de personas vemos como las mujeres que en muchos casos han sido víctimas de trata pasan a ser eh, parte de esta red de tratantes. Ellas utilizan, son utilizadas para captar a nuevas víctimas valiéndose de su condición de mujer. Women gang leaders have been identified in three prisons in Venezuela where they are involved in drug trafficking and extortion. Political will is vital in tracking organized crime structures and corruption. Es demostrarle a los ciudadanos que no hay intocables, que puede tratarse de un delincuente con escoltas, carros de lujo y uso de camisa blanca y corbatas. Si comete delitos tiene que ser aprendido, como también aquella persona que pueda estar rodeada de una columna de personas con fusiles que también van a ser sometidos y puestos a la orden de la justicia. Retomar el camino de la cooperación internacional 
con eh, países, eh, agencias de inteligencia, mecanismos internacionales, multilaterales, etcétera, que nos permitan a nosotros avanzar en ese sentido al obtener las fortalezas que hoy en día eh, no tenemos. Tenemos los mecanismos, tenemos los medios y tenemos realmente eh, la gran posibilidad de poder lograr re, re, reorientar nuestro país. The fight against corruption is imperative in order to restore a Venezuela with dignity.